Hands environmental ethos um, sort of started to take shape right when the company began in 1995, um, guided by the principle that we would do well by doing good. And uh, that's uh, informed by fairly basic concepts like the three R's, for instance, um, reusing, reducing, recycling, uh, lessens the load uh, in, uh, in landfills, and allows us to reintegrate materials in a responsible, sort of sustainable way on our own projects or on others. And so through the course of the past 20 years since we've been a company, we've managed to structure our DNA in such a way that we're now at the forefront of low load building and high performance detailing. We had come across passive houses and we knew that we were trying to build that. Um, we didn't know exactly how we were gonna go about doing it. Uh, we didn't know we had passive house experts in town. So uh, we started interviewing some folks and we came across uh, the Hammer and Hand guys. And once we talked to Sam and really under we immediately understood that we understood each other. And we were both talking the same language. And once we realized that, I think within the first five minutes of the interview, I'm kind of elbowing her going, I think this is going to be it. When we had sketched out what we wanted from the house and more or less how we wanted it to flow and so the architect took that and um, with help from Sam from Hammer and Hand, he um, was able to meld yeah. that into a passive house buildable yeah. form. So um, we'd been looking at houses and layouts for years and uh, it all just came together. And so the house is pretty basic. It's 84 feet long, 20 feet wide and it's double stacked. It's a daylight ranch that faces due south for maximum solar exposure and we're uh, uh, solar oriented with the glazing mostly on the south side, very minimal on the north and the ends. And then it's got all the passive house bits to it, so it's super insulated, super energy efficient, uh, and it's, I call it, it's engineered comfort. On this particular project, the two priorities were uh, high performance building, uh, in particular passive house, and budget. Yeah, we, um, we actually looked back at some of our early budgets and when we had been talking to Hammer and Hand about building a passive house and we said we would really love this. This is our dream, you know, our goal, ultimate goal, but we don't think we can afford it. So let's just do as my, many of these features as we can. Yeah. So when they were talking to the architect and building in, um, you know, building the budgets and they're figuring out whether or not we'd be able to afford it, they had the standard house budget and then they had the passive house budget. And when it came down to it, it was an 8% difference yeah. and we looked at it and we thought this is not big enough of a difference to make us not do it. Yeah. It's going to be such a huge difference in our life and in the house that we, we knew it would be worth it. We, we knew as, as a team that budget was a priority um, and the, um, you know, it, it was, it's absolutely, it was a challenge to meet that budget and I, I feel like the reason we were able to meet that, that challenge was our guys in the field um, really taking it personally and, and, and holding themselves accountable to that. Um, and they absolutely, they, they came up with incredible ideas to, to, co to, to um, cut costs, but um, keep the spirit of the project um, intact. I think just the comfort and livability of the house for me comes up as the best. Um, it's very, very consistent day on day. But from end of house to end of house, from room to room, you don't have to walk into a room and be suddenly cold or be suddenly hot. Um, so I think for me, the, the single nicest feature is probably just that comfort and that consistency. In spite of the fact that we did have some budget constraints, we were able to pull together some really fun materials, um, especially on the exterior where we did um, some tight knot cedar uh, and we did hardy panel um, we just integrated materials that were affordable but beautiful. Uh, I think that's what's most memorable for me, how we were able to take advantage of all that.